In this video, we are going to learn the graphical representations of linear equations. In previous video, we learned the representation of linear equation of one variable. Now today, we are we are considering two variables. Now consider first linear equation ax plus by equal to c. Then another linear e equation ax plus by less than or equal to c and plus ax plus by greater than or equal to c. First, we represent equations graphically. Then after that, we represent, we find the graphical representation of equations. Suppose consider the example 2x plus 3y equal to 6. So this is linear equation in this form. So to draw graph we need points. So hence first point, first find the points on this line. For that consider x equal to 0. We get here y equal to 2. So therefore first point is 0 2. For second point consider y equal to 0. For this value, we get x equal to 3. Therefore, second point is 3, 3. So, therefore, represent a given line in graph 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 on x axis. 1, 2, 3, 4 on y axis. So, therefore, the line passing these two points. First point is 0. As x equal to 0, therefore the point is on y axis. Here, at y equal to 0, therefore the point is on x axis. So therefore it is 3. So hence we get two points, first and second. Draw the line passing through 2, 1. So this is your line twice x plus 3y equal to 6. In this way, we draw the graph of this line. So this is a graphical representation of linear equation. Now see the graphical representation of linear equation. So again consider the same example y6 plus 3y less than or equal to 6. We get the same graph for equation. Draw the same graph here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here is 1, 2, 3, 4. Point 2 here is 3. So therefore we get this line. So y6 plus 3 y equal to 6 as this is like once here must be equation equals. Now find the solution. To find the solution, take some points on the graph. See, suppose this is your point. Has value 0. Put this point in the given equation. Putting this value x equal to 0, y equal to 3 is 9. 9 less than or equal to 6. This point does not satisfy the given condition. As this point 0, 3 does not satisfy the given condition, hence this point does not. represent the D1 equations. Means we need here for to we need here to find all points which satisfy the D1 equation. So this point does not satisfy the given equation hence it is not in that solution set. Consider another point. So this is your point 0 1. So as this is your point 0 1 so put this value x equal to 0, y is equal to 1, we get 3 less than 6. It satisfies the given condition. Next, consider this point. It is 2, 0. For this value, we get x equal to 2 means 4, y equal to 0 means 0. So here 4 less than 6 means it satisfies the condition. Again, find all such points. Consider this point. Suppose this point has value minus 1, minus 1. This point having value minus 1 minus 1. Put this value in this 
term. So therefore, minus two minus three. So we get minus five, which is less than six. Hence, it this one satisfies the given condition. As this point, now see, we are taking three points which are below the line. All the points. Again, check all the points below the line. So after checking, we get that all the points below this line satisfy the given condition. So given equation. Hence, the set of all points which are below the line is the graphical representation of this term. In the general form, if the line is in the form a x plus b y is the equal to c, means here we are okay, going by a x plus b y equal to c. This is your line, and the number of points, the set of all points below the line, satisfy this equation. So hence, this is your graphical representation of a x plus b y less than or equal to c. Now here. The all points which are on the origin side of the line. Hence, the solution state is on the origin side for the given equation. That's it. Right. Next, again same example: twice x plus three y greater than or equal to six. We get the same line for equation. So again same line: one, two, three, four, five. Here one. Because we learned 
in this example for plus plus now we are taking plus minus for this linear equation draw the line first by finding two points on the line this is the basic method to find the two points on the line which is in 10th standard so take value of x 0 for value of x equal to 0 we get y equal to minus 2 because for the line we are considering here equal sign now we find the solution solution set for graphical representation later first we draw the line for drawing the line we must make two points this two points so first point is 0 minus 3 for second point consider the y equal to 0 for y equal to 0 we get x equal to 4 therefore the second point is 4 0 so this is the basic method in next step in next video we see the another method which is the eleven class method or pair of lines straight line pair straight lines method now again draw the graph Graphical solution of the given 